So far we've been looking at calculus and derivatives and finding just the value of the slope of the tangent. But now maybe we're actually interested in the equation of the tangent line. So what I want to just show you here is this could be like some sort of graph. It doesn't matter what the graph looks like here. This could be x and it could be y. Maybe my graph does some weird sort of shape like this. Well, if I want, whoops, I probably shouldn't have drawn that last little bit here. Oh no. I guess I'll just try it again. Um, I can't remember exactly how it went, but let's just say I draw it like that. So I have some sort of graph that does this. And let's say I'm curious about the equation of the tangent line at, oh, I don't know, maybe at this point right here. If I want the, that, uh, that tangent line, then what I would have to do is, you know, draw myself some sort of little dotted line right here that sort of matches this. Now, the whole point of doing a derivative, a derivative found me the slope of that tangent line. But what if I want the equation of it? Remember, the equation of a straight line goes y equals mx plus b. Although you may have learned it as a plus c. But this m, that's the slope or the gradient of the straight line. And this here is the y-intercept. So if I want to know what's the equation of this tangent line, I want to know, you know how to actually draw that one. Well, then I have got some steps. So step one, maybe I'll draw these in uh, black here. So step one. How do I do this? Well, first step is to, I think you could probably guess it, you find the slope of the tangent line at uh, that point. And how do we do that? We take the derivative. That's what we do. So we take the derivative. And step two, so if, by the way, step one is not very difficult, hopefully. We've been doing lots of examples of how to find the derivative of something. So step two is just then, well, use um, some sort of way to then write, you know, use that slope and one point. There's a lot of ways of doing it, but I like to use what's often called point slope form. So that way it goes like this, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. It turns out it comes from the definition of a slope. In other words, the, you know, the value for the slope here, m, was just delta y over delta x, which is just like saying y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And instead of calling it y2 and x2, let's just call it y and x. Well, then it still goes uh, like this here, because it turns out then I could write y minus y1 over x minus x1. And if I want to get m, uh, sorry, y minus y1 by itself, I would move this right here over and it would multiply. So we'd get this. I don't think it's so important though. So I'm just going to actually remove these just to show you that at least this didn't just come from nowhere. Okay, it actually had a reason. It came from somewhere. It comes from the derivative of a slope or the gradient. But in it turns out as long as you use this form, uh, you leave this y as a y value, you leave this x as an x, and you substitute in whatever slope you just got from this. And this right here is just your point. You need to know the x coordinate and the y coordinate of the point you're looking for. So this is how we do the equation of a, nor of a, a tangent line. Not normal, I was just thinking of the next thing we're gonna do. So this one right here, that's the equation of a tangent line. Step one, step two. So let's look at how to actually do it in a practical sense. So we want to find the equation for the tangent line of this graph, x squared plus four x minus two. We want to evaluate that at x equals two. Now, um, we could actually graph it and I could have my calculator do this for me, but I don't want to do that, I want to do it by hand, which is totally easy then. So I can, first of all, just find the slope of the tangent. That's what I need to do. So I need to, first of all, find y primed. So let's do y primed here. I need the derivative here, because I need to know what the slope of this tangent line is at this point. Well, let's first find the slope at every point. The slope at every point is, let's see, this two right here comes in front, so that gives me a two times x to the power of one, because I'm taking the derivative now. And this is what y prime represents, the derivative. And then the derivative of 4x just becomes just 4. 
Again, that's because there's like a little stealth one here. The one comes in front of the four, makes it a four still. Uh, times x to the power of one minus one is zero. X to the zero is just a one. So it's like one times four. Once you've done this a few times, you'll just know that four x, oh, it just becomes four. And this negative two just goes poof, disappears. So this is my derivative at any point. So I'm gonna say y primed at x equals two is going to be, well, just two times two plus four. So in this case, two times two is just four plus four. So I could say that y prime is going to be four plus four, which is eight. So the key thing then is this. I just found my slope. So that became my m value. Because in this form here, what I want, the equation of the tangent line, I want it in the form y equals mx plus b. That's the form I want for my equation of the tangent line. Okay, this right here is going to have to be in this form right here. y equals mx plus b. If I want it in that form, I need to know the m value and I need to know what b is. So that's what I'm gonna do here. So then my next step then, so that was step one is done. My next step is, let's see here. If I go back, my next step is to use point slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So I'm gonna write that down. So y minus y1, this is point slope. There's a lot of other ways of doing this, by the way. This is not the only way of doing it, but I just, I kinda of like this way. There we go. So I just need to know what, well, I leave this as a y value. I need to know what y1 is. Hey, hold on a second, I don't know that. I know that x1 is going to be two. That's my, that's my point that I know. The whole reason I call this point slope form, or the whole reason it's called that, is because this form tells you the equation of a line if you know the slope and you know one point. That's why it's called point slope. So you need to know the slope and a point. Well, we know the x-coordinate of the point. We know the x-coordinate is two. What's the y-coordinate though? I'm gonna need that. So I need to use my original equation here. It's really important to think this is my rule for my original equation. This tells me what y is given an x value. So if I wanna know what the y value is at x equals two, I have to plug in, let's see here, two squared plus four times two minus two. That's going to be, well, two squared is four, plus four times two, which is eight, and I subtract from that two. Well, eight minus two is six, six plus four is 10, so I know then that y1 equals 10. Okay, that was useful. So I needed to know y1 and x1 and m. Now I've got all my things from my shopping list that I needed. So I just need to start plugging things in. So y minus y1, which is 10, equals my slope, which is eight, that's my m value, times x minus that value there. That's it, now I just have to maybe pretty it up a little bit. So let's say I say uh, y minus 10 equals, I'll multiply this out, so eight times x is eight x, and eight times negative two is negative 16. Well then if I wanna do this, all I have to do is say, I wanna move my minus 10 over to the right, it becomes a plus 10. So it's 8x minus 16 plus 10. And minus 16 plus 10 is the same thing as saying um, minus six. So that means then finally, my equation of my tangent line will be just 8x minus six. This is my final answer. This is it right here. So that's how we can sort of deal with something that may look really complicated. I'll put little stars around it maybe. Uh-oh, I don't wanna sort of go over my own writing here. But uh, that's how we can do it. So y is 8x minus 6. Maybe those stars are a little bit distracting. But anyway, this right here, this is what we wanted. I'll just draw a few stars here. There we go. Isn't that lovely? So this right here is how we can actually deal with this one. Now, maybe we want to take a look at this on our graphing calculator, because it turns out we can also do something pretty good here. So let's take a look at the original equation here. So I want, maybe I want to graph this equation here. So y equals, and let's see, I want x squared, so x squared plus 4x. You might be wondering how come my squared looked so nice. Um, I've got the new operating system installed on this, but it works for the old or the new operating system. It's no problem. 
So I'm going to just do a graph of this. Well, there we go. Big surprise, this is a quadratic. We should know that because it's something that's x squared. So it should look like a parabola. And I know that because the leading term here, the a term you know, in front of this x squared is positive. So I know it opens upwards. And then, well, we could work out what the zeros are. We could have done all sorts of things. But what I wanted to do was find the equation of the tangent line at x equals 2. So the cool thing that you can do with this, you can actually uh, ask your calculator to draw you a tangent line. And most people don't know about this, at least with the TI-83 and the TI-84, it does it very well. So see this little draw right here, this little blue one. So I'm going to say draw. And I want the tangent. So I'm going to press 5 here for the tangent. I want it at x equals, and I'm just going to type in just 2 here. And it's going to assume you mean x equals 2. And yep, I did. And it's going to actually draw it for me. It's going to draw me my tangent line. And even better than that, it gives me the equation for it. Isn't that awesome? So if you take a look then, does that match what we had earlier? Sure does. Look at this. So this tells me that y is 8x minus, well, plus negative 6. That's the same thing as saying 8x minus 6. So hooray for my calculator, it can actually deal with this. Okay, so I'm going to uh, maybe take a screenshot of this then. So I'm just going to have my calculator up, and I'm going to get my little screenshot here. There we go. That should work. So this puts it always on a new page. And I'll just copy that, go over here, and just paste it. There we go. So now I can actually take this little graph right here and move it. So just in case you're a visual person, there we go. Now the only thing is that this one right here may not look so clear, but we're actually drawing this right here at x equals 2 here. This right here is our tangent line right here. That's what we've sort of drawn here. This was x, this was y. And at this point, well I've done it really badly, but this right here is the equation of this straight line right here. See, I could have asked it for the tangent line at this point over here, and it would be some line like this. Or I could have done it over here, and it would have been zero. But in this case, the equation of this tangent line, it means that it has a slope of 8, which means every one unit I go over, I go up 8. And that should make sense. It's pretty steep positive, and yep, it looks pretty steep, this red line here. And my y-intercept should be negative 6. In other words, it should cross the y-axis here at negative 6. That's what this graph or this little red line does. So that's how we can find the equation of a tangent line at a point. And again, the trick is just take your steps here. Step 1, find the slope of the tangent line. In other words, find the derivative at that point. And then use point-slope form. I like this form at least. I think it works really nice. So that's it for the equation of a tangent line.